Hi, this is Talia, the dietitian from Family Snack Nutritionist, if you follow me on Instagram. And again, I'm here in a big supermarket today and I want to give you a place on YouTube where you can come and be with me for a few minutes when you have a few minutes rather than a few seconds on Instagram to explore a nutrition topic with me. Today, I'm in the baby food section and I have some pouches. I know these are extremely uh, popular these days with... Um, feeding babies and there are a couple of things that I wanted to talk about before I even look at the ingredients and the nutrition labels. The first is that when you give one of these to your baby it does not count as a food exposure because think about it the baby is not actually being exposed to the food that's in here they're just simply sucking it right out of this pouch they can't see it or touch it so if you are in a situation and I know this is you know reality that we're busy and you need to take something take and go that if you do rely on these try only to rely on them every now and again and if you are out and about take a, a bowl or some sort of a container that you can pour it into um, so that they can actually see it and also give them a spoon either preload the spoon and let them feed themselves um, or if you need to help feed them with the spoon because that's at least an exposure where they can see the food and it's not mindless just sucking it down without even having an experience with the food so that's my first little thing about pouches okay so um, th these are I've picked two slightly different ones this one is um, organic apple, sweet potato, carrot, cinnamon, and super chia. Um, and I wanted to pick this one and I'll show you why in a second. And this other one here is just carrot, apple, and squash. So when I turn them over to kind of compare them, I want to look at, I definitely want to see if there's any added sugars in here. That is like top of mind, top, top, top. Um, the AAP recommends no added sugars or sweeteners for children under the age of two. So if baby food has any kind of sugar added to it, please, please don't buy it. Um, okay. So when I look at the ingredients, that's the first thing I'm going to look at here, because if I see anything that has sugar, I'm just going to throw it back on the shelf. Um, neither of these do have sugar, which is really great. Um, and really, when I'm looking at the, the um, actual nutrition panel here, um, I want to look at the sodium, because again, we want sodium to be as close to zero as possible. And I also want to look at fiber, because one of the problems with these is that they're puree. So this one here has about one gram of fiber in it. And w the reason that is, is because if you look at the ingredients, everything is pureed. Um, the organic apples, the carrots, everything's been pureed, obviously, because it's liquid in this pouch. And when you think about what it is to puree, put something in a blender, it's got those blades in there, and it, what it's doing is it's obliterating the cells of the plant, the apple, the carrot, whatever it is. Um, and that allows the inside, the contents of the cell, to be available to the body. Um, and there are natural sugars that occur in plant cells. Um, but when you consume the whole food, um, you're getting the fiber as well, and we can have a whole discussion, another um, video on how fiber works in the body. Um, but the long and the short of it is it makes, by, by pureeing it, the fact that you've obliterated the fiber means that the body is much more easily able to absorb the natural sugars that are inside. Meaning that it's not gonna keep your baby full for very long, and it's definitely not the whole food, fruit, or vegetable. Um, so when I look at this other one, this one actually has three grams of fiber in it and the reason for that is because it does have those chia seeds and when i'm when i look at the ingredients here it says milled organic chia seeds um, so that is definitely adding some fiber so we have three grams versus the one gram so if i was going to buy one of these um, to use just as an every now and then travel food i would go with this one because it does have more fiber in it um, and also has no added sugars in there, which is definitely something that I want to look at. Um, and the differences in sodium between these two, um, this one, which is my winner, um, has 15 milligrams, whereas this one has 20. That's very small in terms of differences, but babies are only supposed to have very small amounts of sodium, so you really wanna keep the sodium as close to zero as possible, and one of the best ways to do that is by not buying packaged things. So if you really have to buy something um, to have as a take and go, I would definitely look for something with fiber, and I would also recommend, instead of allowing your child to just kind of suck it down mindlessly, um, taking some kind of a bowl and a spoon um, and emptying it bit by bit into a bowl so that they can actually see the food. And that counts as a little bit more of an exposure because they can at least see it and touch it rather than in here where they can't see it or touch it at all. 
I really hope you found that helpful. And if you learned something um, from this video, I would really love if you would subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn your notifications on so you never miss a future video because I'm going to be covering lots of topics like fiber um, and also more labels like these. And um, let me know, do you use any of these kinds of uh, pouches? What kind do you use and do yours have any added sugars? You can leave me a comment below um, and that will help me help you by doing some more videos um, on those pouches um, or other baby foods next time I'm at the supermarket. So thank you so very much. This is Talia. There's a lot of nutrition information out there. I am a dietitian and this is my specialty and I'm here to help you.